So this movie is pretty dark. Oh my gosh, <laughs> intense, right? Very intense. Yes. So what attracted you to the film? Well, working with Steven, I would say, and of course, hence Jude as well. Um, yeah, Steven I worked with when I was 16 and I always wanted to work with him again and do a meteor role, so this was a perfect opportunity and I'm glad he chose me. <laughs> and it wasn't too bad being Jude Law's wife either? No, not too shabby, not too shabby. <laughs> so this whole idea of a, a moral compass was very interesting to me in this mm -hmm. film because yes. they all kind of were guided by different things. I know your yes. character was trying to be supportive with your husband at the same time. He was very preoccupied. Will you tell me a little bit about mm -hmm. your character's motivations? And Yeah, I think what Deidre's motiv motivated by is um, she's really, I think, at this juncture in her life is motivated by uh, survival. I think uh, she lost her job in finance and she's a very determined woman. And so she's gone on job interview after job interview and I think is getting a bit discouraged. So. Um, I think, she, you know, she, they just bought a Tribeca apartment, so she has this keeping up with the Joneses kind of feeling that's kind of pervading her decisions. So, you know, when everything hits the fan, um, you know, this is something that you don't mess with, the, you know, the foundation of their lives, the home, you know, him being there and solid for her and her son. Um, and I really believe like a lot of the things I was working on was that perhaps she was betrayed in the past, maybe her son's father, you know, because he's her stepfather, did so. And so just anything to ruffle this, the smoothness of their upward mobility, I think is um, challenging for her. Um, and she's a very real person. She's mm -hmm. not pretentious in any way, but she just, you know, is basing everything on keeping this family afloat. I thought a really powerful scene um, was when you were going on your job interview mm -hmm. and you know Rooney Mara comes over and she's all frantic and you're trying to be supportive here but you're like I need you. Yes. It was, it was a very powerful scene. Exactly and she's conflicted because she's you know at once has compassion for this poor girl obviously struggling but at the same time is like wait a minute this could be the break for us and I could be getting a job and you would have less pressure so what make your decision and so I think there's a lot going on without any words being said and mm -hmm. um, a lot of inner kind of turmoil um, and even wondering who this girl is uh, just I think she goes from curiosity to kind of compassion to the horror and then a selfish moment of wait a minute can't you just be there for me before my important job interview so yeah, there was a lot going on in that scene. Which makes the character so relatable. Yes, exactly. We're not just one dimensional. Exactly. Yeah. So why do you think AMC audiences are going to like this movie? I think they'll like it because it's a classic thriller in a modern day and using modern day, you know, um, modern day things that we use all the time um, to actually manipulate ourselves um, into this crazy world of um, you know, unveiling the masks of each person who's uh, struggling in this movie to either keep face or to pull down another person's face <laughs> and reveal who they are for what they are. So um, again, it is um, a great thriller that is um, using modern tools to um, challenge us um, in ways that we, anyone can relate to. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much. You were Yay. great. Thank you so much. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to stop what you're doing and subscribe to our AMC Theaters YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the movie news, editorials, and our AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about all our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.